So, it's me, your boarder, and Andrew to the city with the number two in TL. Let's go. So, as I'm also drinking Pepsi, right here, I want to let y'all know, son. Um, so, this is Injury to the City News. We really should get on some sports because I got some sports. That's one of the reasons why I deleted and uploaded all the videos I uploaded over the last few hours because I wanted to clear up some storage on my phone so I could talk about sports. Ladies and gentlemen, um, I watched the kickoff game, college football kickoff, um, with Florida and Miami. I believe Florida should have destroyed Miami. We did not. Um, both quarterbacks stunk. Um, and I don't understand why we're sticking with Felipe Franks um, at all. I don't. Especially after, oh, he's reworked his mechanics. He's throwing more confidence. He's this, he's that. Felipe, if you ever watch this, bro, trust me, I love you. I wish you the absolute guy for his best. Honestly, you, you, I mean, you, have, a, you have a great figure to be an athlete. You know, you're a great athlete. But, dude, you got to produce at the position of quarterback. You're not producing. You're not, you're not producing at the position of quarterback. You literally, literally almost throw away, threw away the game. How do you throw a pick with one minute left? That was the, the most memorable play ever right now. Because Steve Spurrier's look on his face was like, oh my lord, what's going on? Now that look was also priceless. Felipe, you threw a pick with one minute to go. You stared the guy down. And you pump fake. How did you throw that pick, bro? How? Think about it, bro. How did you throw that pick? And on top of it, you go for one deep pass the entire game and they want to talk about how you do this. Stop playing with me. Felipe, only thing you do is throw picks. Literally. Because that pick at the ending of the game proves it. All you do is throw picks or throw checkdowns. Which one do you want, if not both? I love you, bro, but look at the tape. That's what I'm looking at to literally dissect you right now. Obviously, I'm not visually right now looking at the tape, but I looked at the tapes so like I watched the game. Games, really, over the last three years. You know, this year, last year, and the year before that. I watched your film. I watched your tape. You stunk. You threw picks. You stunk. You, and I, and you, you played versus UT Martin this past Saturday. We expect you to win that game. Because if you don't, you have no chance versus Alabama. But forget that. Losing versus, almost losing versus Miami, you got no chance versus Alabama. I mean, I, I don't get this. We have Emory Jones backing you up and that other kid, uh, I forgot his name, but he also is really a stud. But we have like four or five dudes behind you pretty much and we're sticking with you? Why? You stink! At least from what the film says. Felipe, study that film. Bro, I'm telling you, study the film. Because the film shows you throw picks, you stare guys down, you definitely overthrow people. You, you, I mean, and, and such. You threw one good pass in that game and like, oh, I do this. Stop playing with me. Dude. Dude. Look at yourself in the mirror. Dude. Actually, no. Look at the tape. You do this? For real? Okay. Trust me. You're my quarterback. I love you. I want you to succeed. But it hurts me as a fan of you to see you do that. See you play like trash. Or, see you play like Blake Bortles did over the past three seasons, if not last two seasons, actually. I believe so. Throw check downs. Why are we, why are we giving the quarterback position over to these people who can't throw downfield? Either enough or accurately. Really both, to an extent. Why are we, give, why are we, giving, why are we giving the quarterback, quarterback these quarterbacks? These, why are we giving these quarterbacks in college and pro? Why are we giving them these, these, these contracts when that's all they, all they do? Throw check downs. Are you kidding me? Now, I understand if two, if two out of five, you do check downs just to get the chains moving. I get it. But other than that, do the other 
half of your job, which is sling that ball around the field like Jared Goff. Dare I say, sling that ball around the field like Carson Wentz. Sling that ball around the field like Dak Prescott. Sling that ball around like the Lamar Jackson. He destroyed and picked apart that Miami Dolphins defense. No wonder why the Miami Dolphins probably, offense, defense, I don't know which side, want some trades. Because they're like, mm -mm, we can tell we're potentially taking. Now, I, I looked at the news over the last year. The Miami Dolphins literally said that they were eyeing the, this year's, the next, they were eyeing, they were eyeing, sorry. They were, the news said the Dolphins were eyeing the 2020 draft for Tua Tungvaluwa. Dang, could you make it any more apparent by getting destroyed by the Ravens the way you did? You got picked apart. And the fact that they traded away Laramie Tunsil and Kenny Stills proves you're intentionally tanking. Why? Because you saw it in the first in this first game. <clears throat> or it could just be rust. <clears throat> but I don't think it's rust. I think you're just intentionally tanking. And I didn't say rust. I said rust. It could just be rust. But no, I think you're just intentionally tanking right now. But I don't understand why in God's name you even traded for Josh Rosen. And then Cliff Kingsbury like, oh, we believe that Josh is going to be a great player this week. You just said that for the PR crap. You said that for the media. The rest of those coaches didn't buy that crap. They they wanted a first-round pick for Josh Rosen because they was like, oh, if he was in this draft, he would be one of the top two take it. Yeah, let's, yeah, okay. <laughs> now, that's not to say that wasn't true because it was true. I do believe so. But the, I'm telling you, this is what the rest of the league thought. Hey, you need to get rid of him so you can draft Kyler. We don't need him. You need us. We don't need you. That's why nobody offered him a first-round pick for him. As well as the fact that, excuse me, as well as the fact, excuse me, as well as the fact being, because I love Josh. Over his, la his last year at UCLA, I really just started to become a fan of him. And I remember him saying in an interview somewhere, an article somewhere, he's thankful for his background in tennis because with that, he can throw at different arm angles and such. And I believe that Josh Rosen will be a great, he, a great quarterback for many years to come. He'll only be that if people give him a chance. That means you surround him with talent and you're all in on him. That's what that means. And Dolphins are not all in on Josh Rosen. I'm telling you, to trade away Kenny Stills and Lammy Tunsil, <laughs> Tunsil, sorry, you're not. They're 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 telling you we're not all we. If anything, we got. It's like saying if anything, we got. What's his name? Josh Rosen, just so we can potentially tank again. Like just so like oh we saw he gave what we gave he gave Cardinals a bad record. Oh he can help us tank so we can get to it and then. Cut Josh, and that's the end of that. At least I think so. That's just me. The way I look at it is, it, 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 I really believe that Josh Rosen could reignite his career there in Miami. But it's only going to work if they're committed to him, and I don't think they're committed to him at all. I think they are showing we are intentionally tanking just so we can get to him, and we needed Josh to tank. We, you know, because look what he did with Cardinals. They, they tanked. By the way, it was either drink the Pepsi during this video, <coughs> excuse me, or let it get cold. I mean, hot, really. And forgive me for all my burping, but I am drinking a soda. You can, you can tell why I'm burping. Forgive me. Hopefully, you got some humor out of my, out of my, my, my burping. <laughs> uh, hopefully, you got some humor out of it. I mean, like I said, it was either not drink the, the cola and let it get hot or and then put it on the ice later or drink it and then burp a few. Forgive me if the burping embarrasses me and or if the burping on, you know, because I'm burping on camera. Forgive me if it embarrasses me and or whatever else. But hopefully you got some laughs out of it, actually. Or you think I'm disgusting. I don't know. Forgive me if you think I'm, dis I'm disgusting now because I'm 
or like three, four times on camera, forgive me. Like I said before, it was either it was either um like I say it was either put put it on ice later or let it get hot now. I won't drink it now, so that's why. But uh it's not really hard in rocket science, ladies and gentlemen, to tell and understand this. They're tanking. I think Miami Dolphins are absolutely tanking. They're not sold on Josh Rosen. They didn't really want him as a franchise. They just got him because they felt like, hey, we need to, need to tank to get Tua. We get Jake from or to get anybody. So, hey, let's just go ahead and get him. Josh, I'm sorry that you're not being given. If you ever watch this video, I am sorry that you're not ever being, you're not ever, you're not given right now that opportunity to prove that you are a young Aaron Rodgers. Because if you get cut, you're probably going to end up, if you get cut by the Dolphins, you're probably going to end up on the, on hopefully on Green Bay's roster so you can learn from Aaron Rodgers and you know prove how you are just a young Aaron Rodgers because like that video showed of Destination Dallas I think you know uh, you and Aaron Rodgers right there you definitely are I believe a young Aaron Rodgers people are just not giving you the opportunity to prove that because they're you know they got their own pride ego and agendas I'm telling you the league I, I can't stand the NFL right now Ladies and gentlemen, if you've been paying attention to the NFL's news over the last two, three years, you can tell, you can see why I can't stand the NFL right now. Now, obviously, I'm still going to keep watching because, like I said, I got players that I really, really want to see shine. But other than that, I can't stand the NFL because that these teams are proving they don't know what they're doing. They're biased. They're hypocritical, and they don't they don't care about morals. They don't care about they don't care about anything they should care about that will actually make them better as a team and actually take them far into the playoffs as human beings and as athletes. <clears throat> you, you you can just tell, I think. You can just tell that the league just doesn't care. I mean, I don't get how Colin Kaepernick, Tim Tebow, and Johnny Menzel are all three out of the league. I don't understand how. Again, and Blaine Gabbard, because I talk with my dad about this all the time, and Blaine Gabbard is still in the league. Blaine Gabbard who's thrown just as many touchdowns as he has interceptions, 48 to 47. And he never won a playoff game. He never got close to the playoffs. And Tebow sniffed the playoffs. Like, he actually not only sniffed it, he went to a playoff game and won one with his throwing motion. Now, like I said before, back then I really didn't know much about throwing motion and angles and whatever else. But I can rest assure you that, again, with his shaky throwing motion back then, even he went to the playoffs and won one. Even he did that. The Tim Tebow. Tebow, if you ever watch this, bro, I love you. I am a big fan of you. I love you, bro. I watched you with Florida, and you were awesome. I defend you versus my dad all the time, <laughs> and so on. But uh, I'm telling you, y'all, uh, it doesn't make any sense. I mean, you might not, and for a lot of people, you might not like Colin Kaepernick's politics. You don't have to, if you. but I can rest assure you, you cannot deny football wise. Kaepernick's better than half these scrubs. Johnny Menzel, talent wise, is the same thing. Tim Tebow, talent wise, is the same thing. I mean, literally, I I can tell you these teams would rather lose. They would these teams would rather tank seasons than to than to give any of those three a shot. I mean, literally, the only team Johnny was on was the Browns. In the NFL. Why won't somebody give him a chance? Hmm? I'm just saying, y'all. Check the stats. And someone check the, check the stats, watch the film. I don't understand how people come out of college breaking records and yet they can't get a job in the NFL. Particularly with quarterbacks. You come out of college breaking records. Whether it's just with that college or you're broken nationally. If not both. And yet you mean to tell me you can't get a job in the NFL to stick. You can't stick a you cannot stick a job in the NFL. That's how I know the NFL is rigged. These teams have their biasness. These teams have their egos, their agendas, their negative priorities, and that's why they will never sniff the Super Bowl as long as Tom Brady and Bill Belichick still are in football. They might go like the Falcons did, but they'll lose like the Falcons did. <laughs> Love you all. God first, one more season of shame. God first, God of everything. You're man, NJ to the city, reporting for NJ to the city news.com. And I hope everybody has a great bus and get the week, rest, uh, great bus and get the uh, month. I got more to film because this is NJ to the city sports, pretty much. Or this is, yeah. <laughs> NJ to the city sports through NJ to the city news. It's all one platform, you know, right now. Eventually, I'll stretch out to NJ to the city 
City Sports is on platform right now. It's all 